was parked up at uh, the underground car park at Delft, making our way up uh, towards the market area. seems a lot more relaxed than Amsterdam. I was told by a, a Dutchman who said it's like a, a mini Amsterdam. Everybody just relaxing. The market's fairly straightforward market like you would get in England. Some of these cafes have a really, really nice atmosphere. Really nice little place, this. Much easier to find a place to eat out than it is in Amsterdam, for example. There's just a lot less people. Oh, look at these. I don't know whether they're electric or not, but they're quite expensive. No, but, yeah, but you, you'll, you'll never guess who, uh, who's selling them. Here we go. Look, Alfred's. Look at these for carrying your children. Find you 2,400 euros. Wow. I don't believe in that unlocked. Oh, we wasn't going to come to Delft until tomorrow, but there's something about the evening which is it's really nice. It's got a nice calm atmosphere. Another little street. Mm. Oh look! A vinyl record shop. But somebody mentioned that there's a vinyl record shop.
seems like a nice place to sit down and have something. Yeah, I like to drink anyway, we've all we've all chosen to have a smoothie. The young lady came up to us and asked us what we wanted in Dutch and we just said uh, English and automatically straight into perfect English. Not like it is in France. I didn't start it. That looks nice. There's a really nice atmosphere. 20 past 5 at the moment and one thing that we've noticed is that nobody is eating in these places. They're all having a drink for now, so maybe they eat later. So here we go for an Indonesian meal. Anyway, we're having um, um, a 20 pound a head where you've got lots of different uh, dishes. I'm looking forward to seeing this. It's um, just about half past six now. That's the first time we've had an Indonesian. It was really, really nice. Um, we uh, we we went to France in summer. We didn't spend all our euros. You see, we didn't eat out much, so we just thought we'd do it here. Anyway, if you're coming to Delft, that's the name of the restaurant we've just been in. Still quite busy this time of night. There's lots of little nice uh, restaurants for eating out of an evening here. I'm sure they'll be packed soon. Treats. Oh. <laughs>
Oh, got a big truck coming. Pause. Everybody's doing trick or treat on the site. <laughs> One thing, don't put them chocolates out. Oh no. <laughs> Next one. Here we go. Beatrice is all there. And that's it. Fab day out. Good morning, all. It, it's um, Friday morning now, so um, we're not going until tomorrow before lunch. I'll ask the site if we could stay on a few hours later because we'd have something like six hours of not knowing where to go. We don't want to be sat at a ferry terminal. So today will be just all about, uh, well this afternoon, I'll take down this two lay residence when all the condensation has gone off it and we'll start packing up. And tonight um, there'll be no canopy, there'll be, there'll be no two lay residence and we'll just um, be ready for, you know, little bits of tidying up and, and clean up and pack the Ariba on the inside tomorrow and then we'll be on the road. Anyway, the afternoon before we go away, which is tomorrow morning, and before the weather turns, we're just setting down now and we'll clean everything up. Uh, there's a two-layer residence, all the all the aluminiums, and each of these we want to pack them away dry, so we're just going to get the mop and bucket and mop where they've been in contact with the ground. And this ground sheet here, that's going to have to be hung up and washed when we're at home because it's going to be filthy under there. We've got the, the front in the bag ready anyway. I will just doing this. Not to forget the other side as well. We won't be using this till next year because it's not something we use just for a weekend anyway. And the uh, skirt of the Ariba got muddy as well. Give it a good mop. The sides of the front are packed away quite nicely in there. Anyway, so that's us nearly packed away. We'll leave the canopy up. Um, until a bit later on. Not much room in the back of here though. Um, there's things that we do carry in the Ariba so we'll leave them in the car until we actually pack. And then this, so one of the things, I'm not really sure how to wash this, uh, we do have an aluminium pole which you can put across the yard and we can hose pipe it down or whether it might even fit in the, wash, fit in the washing machine but we'll have to try that next week. Um, put something in the comments to let us know how you do this. Uh, we're just about to set off now. We had a bit of a nightmare this morning. <laughs> Battery was flat. So we had a gentleman next door who was English and he uh, and he tried to connect us to his battery. But because his, his, um, his battery doesn't have two terminals, we're having to connect the, the negative through the body. It wasn't giving enough for clout. Anyway, a chap came from the site. He had a tractor, fired it straight up. I thought, well, hang on, we're going to get stuck. Now, if I turn this engine off, we're in trouble. So I went to a Toyota garage. They didn't have a battery in stock, but he did do a test on the battery, and the battery is fine. He doesn't need a new battery. I just need to drive it now and uh, not leave any lights on, interior lights on, ever again. Anyway, I'll see you in a minute. We're just going to tow off. Anyway, we've just arrived at a place called Port Salandi, which is probably about 25-30 um, miles south of Rotterdam. We're not due to go onto the ferry for another six hours, so we might as well spend out the day here. 
and there's park it's cost uh, six euros for parking for the day